Previously, I shared with you this cozy Airbnb we stayed in at the beach town of Bagak Bataan. As promised, I'm showcasing the main part of our trip, Las Casas Filipinas de Acosara. Fresh from a morning dip in one of Bagak's many beaches, I made my way into Las Casas. I was a little early for the 3 p.m. check-in, but the good thing is they let you tour and explore the beauty of Las Casas even before you check into your room. I found myself spending most of my time in their Italian restaurant, La Bella Teodora, named after Jose Rizal's mother, Teodora Alonso. I got this mushroom risotto which was pretty good and went along nicely with a bottle of Chenin Blanc. When you're at Las Casas, expect to get sweaty, whether you're just walking around or riding their free jeepneys. I was relieved that it was finally check-in time. It was a surprise that the driver dropped me off in this antique home known as Casa Ha in Dos. I mean, I expected to be in the row of hotel rooms in another section of Las Casas, but I was dropped off here, room 404, as our place for the night. This isn't a replica, but actually the restored home of the mayor of Jaén, Nueva Ecija, built in 1901. It felt like stepping into the past with authentic interiors, but with the modern-day comforts of super cold air conditioning. I couldn't be happier. <laughs> I would have liked to take a quick nap, but I had to get a move on and catch the wedding that we were attending at 4 p.m. I had just a few minutes to freshen up. The church at Las Casas is a replica of the Balanga Cathedral, also in Bataan. For those looking, this is a nice rustic venue for a wedding ceremony. Maybe it reminded me of Ross and Emily's wedding in London. <laughs> Hi, Ross. Take the Emily. <laughs> reception was at the function hall of the Hotel de Oriente. This is a replica of the once magnificent hotel that stood in Escolta in the late 1800s. The interiors are intricate and elegant, making you feel like royalty. Big congrats to the newlywed couple, our friends Raymond and Nicole Tagle. Partied out and mildly hung over, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to take a stroll along Las Casas' beachfront and take a group walking tour to fully understand these magnificent structures. We started off at Casa Lubao, built in 1920 in San Fernando, Pampanga, by Valentin Arastia, who hailed from Spain. Moving on, this museum at Las Casas is known as Casa Quiapo. This was the first campus of the UP School of Fine Arts. Throughout its history, the place has also been a dormitory, a brothel, and even an abortion clinic. Its glorious past mixed with a bit of not-so-glorious ones. Lastly, this is Casa Luna, originally from La Union in 1850. And this, Casa Luna is owned by relatives of the famous Juan Luna and Antonio Luna. There was a whole lot more to see, but just like that, it was already checkout time. I didn't expect to like Las Casas as much as I actually did. More than the picturesque structures, I was happy to reconnect with our past and get a feel of what it was like during the Spanish era. Las Casas is a little costly, but think of it as somewhat of a time machine and maybe you'd see it as a bargain. When you have the time to make the trip, do consider this as one of your must-see destinations just outside Metro Manila. <laughs>